In this video, we will be looking at the way that tablets can be used to facilitate in-class collaboration. And we'll be using the examples of Google Sheets and Google Docs. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet platform and Google Docs is a document platform. Now, the applications you'll need on your tablet are Google Drive, and Google Sheets and Google Docs. Now, if you install Google Drive and then you try to open a spreadsheet or a document that's built within Google's native Sheets and Docs format, that's not a Word doc and it's not an Excel file, it's a type of document that only can exist within Google Drive, but it's a collaborative one, it's stored on the cloud, then you'll be prompted to also install Sheets and Docs when you first open one of those types of files. So let's have a look at Google Sheets. Now Google Sheets allows you to ask your class to do calculations on the fly. Uh, you can create a preset template uh, or a preset document that your class wants to fill in, in during the session and it can give you the opportunity there to collect data or analyze data together. And you might want to decide to set up multiple sheets for different groups or you could just simply set up one sheet and get the whole class to contribute towards it. So let's have a look at it in practice. For this example we'll be using um, as it appears on a computer but the principles are identical as to how it would appear on a tablet. On the left hand side is my Google Sheet, my example spreadsheet with Google Sheets as the format. And this is what the tutor's view would be. They'd set up the document perhaps in advance and then you'd share it with the tablets that you'll be using. Now our tablets here have their own account and that allows us to share the documents with that tablet for, for use in class. So you'd share it with um, the tablet's email address, the, email, the account that goes with the tablet, simply by typing it into the bottom and then ensuring can edit is set. Once you click send, that will actually change the access so that the tablet user can access the spreadsheet. So now we're in the situation where this spreadsheet here is also accessible by the tablet. On the right hand side is going to be representing the tablet's account. So what we can do on the tablet is using Google Drive or using the Google Sheets application, view the files that have been shared with us. We have to go to shared with me, um, which is a section of your Google Drive, before you'll be able to see all the files that have been shared with you. And we can see in this particular folder, this whole folder has been shared by me as the tutor and SPSW 550 is the tablet account. So we have here the example spreadsheet on my account and we can see it's been shared with the tablet um, in this folder. So I'm going to open that up now as the tablet user would do on this side of the screen. So now we have two people working on this same document and you can, that's indicated by the letters that appear at the top of the document to show that other people are viewing it. So if as a tutor I allocated names you can see how as I'm completing each cell the cell is updating on the right hand side it's actually updating on the tablet or what would be the tablet screen and that's and there's no connection via wires between these two uh, devices there won't be a connection between you on the lectern and this tablet this is happening through Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a cloud-based spreadsheet. The file exists on the cloud. It doesn't exist on any one device. So the other advantage here then is that students could add their own values into these boxes and the calculations will update accordingly. And on your tutor screen, you can see who's contributing and who's adding the values. Similarly, you may want to share documents and share your work as a student with your tutor. Or you might have a document that as a group you're putting together that you want to refer to later on. Using Google Docs allows you again to use preset templates. It allows for synchronous saving and collaborative working and on the fly marking and feedback from the tutor. Let's go back to our example here. I have an example templated document. This is a Google Doc. It exists in the cloud only, it is not a Word document. So this Google Doc as a cloud-based document I have shared once again with my tablet user account. And you could put all the student accounts on here as well for the class and then they can open it up on their own devices if they so wished. 
they would then go into their tablet device, into their Google Drive, go to the Shared With Me section, and then open up the shared file. And again, the little cursors now tell us who's editing what. So if I, as the tutor, make a change, you can see it immediately updates the student view of the document. So there's a benefit here. If the students are adding uh, ideas in, you as the tutor on the lectern PC could observe these ideas being added. You could then provide feedback by adding a comment based on that area. And then the student will see that feedback coming in live as they're editing the document. For students to use this beyond the session, they will need to add their own emails onto the sharing box. So within the tablet facility, they would need to go to share and add their own email addresses. And that would then share the document back to their own personal accounts. So I hope that's presented some ideas there on how you might want to use a, uh, the tablet within a session to collect ideas, to ask students to produce a piece of work together in the session that you could provide feedback on remotely, um, and a way of really creating a more engaging activity that establishes the creation of ideas rather than the consumption within a teaching session.